Tougher than doing ram four man because you, you just there's just no let up, it's just relentless. You know, doing we were doing shifts 30 minutes an hour on and off, no real time to get sleep, no real time to you know, your nutrition, you're just trying to get something you can metabolize. So, very different to doing ram where um, you perhaps get six hours off where you can get a little bit of sleep, you can eat some proper food. Um, it's just relentless, yeah, for just over two days, just not stopping, not sleeping. But uh, yeah, great some great memories, yeah, it's been great fun. Do you remember any memories? <laughs> I remember it raining down in Lake Mary, actually. That was quite a surprise for us, yeah. <laughs> but the beautiful countryside, I mean, coming through Arizona, just stunning. Um, just the Monument Valley this morning was just amazing. Uh, and to cycle through the whole thing and just see it all with the, with the light that you get there with the sun on it, just, just incredible, yeah. And of course, the glass elevator. I'm a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to descending, so Dylan is the descender for the elevator. So, uh, but that's stunning. Again, you come off the top, even if you just drive down there and you can just see the vista across the desert, just, it's just something else, it really is, yeah. Yeah, and just the organisation, yeah, so slick, yeah, so helpful and, and you know, and, and they put their hands up sometimes when they don't know stuff, but they do their best to help out and that's what you want, it's much more of a community feel, it's uh, not like one of these, some of these big, big races where you get, it's just not a personal thing, you know, the people that organise this event and run it, they care, you know, and they want to get it right and if, if things don't go the way they wanted to, then they'll do their best to put it right, so, I recommend anybody to come and do it. It's a great experience. Did uh, Dylan do it last time with you? With yeah, yeah, he did it in the four man. Yeah, yeah. So how's, how's it feel to just do you and your son this time? Um, yeah, it was. Uh, we, we when we were doing the four man, we split into two teams of two, and I was with Dylan on that pair. Um, it's a bit weird not speaking to somebody for two days, and yet you're riding in a competition with them because clearly with with the uh, the changeovers, you know, they're out on the road as when you get back in the van. So it's. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we do a lot of cycling at home. We're, we're good friends, and uh, it's one of those things. These these sorts of events, for me anyway, it's about sharing it, creating memories. That's that's the most important thing. Yeah, it's great to come here and win or or, or whatever. But um, you create such fantastic memories doing things like this. When we came in 2018, my three daughters came. They still dine out on it. They still talk about <coughs> the experience of doing a ram in six days. Um, sometimes. Uh doing this with family doesn't always work out but it seems like it works out for you guys well um, there were moments you know <laughs> as there always is but there's there's moments with any crew but uh, it's it's it makes it more special when they're you know you're with with you know we were all rookies but we were insistent we were having friends and family come into crew for us no professional crew because we want to create those memories and I know my kids in 20 30 years time will still be sharing the stories of racing across America and and this this little trip here as well there's you know the adventure of, of coming here from the UK, you know, hire, hiring a, a condo to stay in beforehand, getting organised, doing it, and, and the crew just, you know, they haven't slept either. You know, okay, the riders haven't slept, but the crew haven't slept either. It's fantastic, you know, to have people that support you in that way. It's very special. Oh, well, it, it, it was a good start, actually. We started off all right, and it's always good to do something with your dad. But um, I, uh, as a few moments early on, I thought the first sort of 24 hours, I had all sorts of cramps, the heat was killing me, but actually I just fortunately enough to have some good people around to try and help me out and get through it because it, I very nearly bailed out, I can tell you. It, it, I think that's one of the toughest things I've ever done. And we did RAM together as a team before, uh, about five years ago. Um, but because you have that rest, it's a whole different thing. You know, just constant, constant. So how did you battle through that? I don't know, you have your demons, don't you? You always do. Um, and I think good people around you support you, always helping you out. We have a lot of experience there as well. We've got one of the crew, she's a world champion, Iron Man. So she, I mean, you know, they're good people and just, just, just look, look, looking at them, that gets you through it. There's a beautiful scenery. I always say, as we said it last time when we came to do the RAM, I'd absolutely love to do it without racing because there's so much to see everywhere you look. It's just different, beautiful, and um, you know, obviously you get a little bit of time to take some of it in, but it'd just be great to explore it properly without being on a bloody bike, frankly. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, all right, so you're standing here in Durango, you've battled yep. some you know, physical and mental toughness, I'm sure. How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, really good. It's always good, isn't it, at the end? We call it category two enjoyment. Just 
brilliant afterwards. So uh, yeah, loving it. Um, and it's great to do with mates and stuff. Um, we'll have a few days here, this looks beautiful. Um, and then move around, end up in Denver, which is for the UK, great, because I hear it's going to be a party sound because of the NBA. So good planning. <laughs> Uh, you got the record, sounds like? Yep. Um, is that a goal from the get-go? It was. We were trying for 50 hours, actually, but we didn't quite make it. And I'd forgotten that the record, I thought the record was that, until about five hours ago, we suddenly realised the record was something like 52 something, and we were in it. So we, we absolutely pegged it for the last three or four hours, which is not ideal. But uh, yeah, it's good. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So good. You can only beat what's in front of you. Yeah. And there was nobody <laughs> in this category. And we broke the record. 